did real good today, Tommy, with the the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a Tom. I want to get with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies. Take me to the blue tropic. Mr. Coltham, you want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, I ask maybe a small favor. Huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walking my daughter home. I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Wally well, won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well, it's, um, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, Good night for a walk anyways. <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? Will you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi? Then you get the flowers. Eh, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah. So now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. But let's go some. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. My turn now. Hope you're better than your friends. Ah! Ah! That's what I got, you son of a bitch. You got a good view that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place. I'll take a look.
Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, Slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. Take another. All right. You're gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Cause I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. And Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy. Go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know, we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunt. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. These, these punks showing disrespect. Where's the respect in this city gone, Frank? Like that guy's calling in for Sarah in the street. I got pain in the Hey, hey. Here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Boss.
Wally and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust sets. That's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and, uh... Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, that's horse shit, but they bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. No, they won't. Thanks, Vinny. Break some bones, Tom. If those bats don't get messy, we should have a game out front sometime. Go show those punks this neighborhood's ours. time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, he got yellow fever the time we boosted the shiny my skin. Well, I like it anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the games. Hey, 
served, you fat bastard. What are you doing? Chut mau, no tang all day team. Don't they send us all get him by such a light? Dogface, great to see ya. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. Mo young a fight. So, what's the beef? Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax. Just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. The guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classic ones. Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. Don't know about this. Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. Though, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating. Do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. Telling you the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. <laughs>
the other punks. Take them down. You're mine. <clears throat>
gotta get to a car, Tom! Scram! Come on, we can't lose them! Careful, Tom. The road's a river. Don't worry, I got this. You ever seen guys piss their pants this quick? If you look through the rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. Ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? Son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away. Don't want to pop him, Tom. No. No, no, wait. At least, at least I don't want to fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. This I'm out. This one's finished too. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Let's go. It's not like them to leave a mess like this. I don't get it. You think we made them?
let's go. No, go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. I heard about their uh, misfortune, Tom. We're gonna fix it. A lesson learned, I think, eh? Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. You remember when the Corleone Hotel was a classy joint? Don't go any place yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I've been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. What's with you today, Tom? Michelle. She's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we're ever gonna talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay.
Here's your stuff. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck.